Hi everyone, welcome back to some MechWare. <clears throat> and uh, this time we got uh, Orbital View, I guess. So, uh, this is for, this is an alignment neutral thing. However, this is like, we could have done this in the beginning. The governor's intelligence assets have located a semi-regular supply route that the Lyran loyalists are using to move military supplies through the desert west of the capital. For the governor to carry out his separatist agenda, he needs those shipments disrupted. We are being offered full salvage on convoy assets we capture. All in all, a pretty lucrative mission. I I, I don't know if I really want to bring everyone along for this, because it's like, I, I'm just... You guys have no idea how much we're probably going to kick this mission's ass. Like, look, look at all this shit, though. We don't... This is like complete overkill. You know, maybe we should have some fun and just use the Pumba. You guys want to use the Pumba? Maybe just solo this? What are we actually supposed to do? There, uh, there's like, do not underestimate them. You know what? We're gonna solo this. We're gonna solo this. Fuck all these people. We're soloing. This is probably a terrible idea. Uh, you know what? Let me just make sure the Puma mech doesn't have anything stupid on it. So it's just like, yeah, it's this and. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna solo this mission with the Pumba just to show you guys how it's done. Okay, Spectre Lance, give an operational ready report. We're crossing the line of departure. Enemy contact is imminent. Spectre, this is Castle. Convoy is dead ahead. I'm marking intended interceptors, nav point alpha. Good hunting. Oh good, the, the weapons are in different slots. So, um... Listen up, people. This is mostly a salvage run. Take out the armed vehicles, but leave the rest. The less we blow up, the more we take home. Copy? <laughs> Roger, Spectre. I'm literally talking to myself, dude. Holy shit. Oh, cool, I can get a nice view here. Roger, looks like light armor assets, nothing too heavy. I, Dude, this is hilarious. I'm actually talking to myself. I took the lightest mech I have and, you know, might as well uh, fucking show you guys why this mech is fucking piece of shit. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. This is actually a really hot map, so... Medium tanks moving in from the northeast path. We'll have to take them out as well. Target destroyed. Those Myrmidons mount PPCs. They'll punch a hole in your mech if you're not careful. Concentrate fire on the Myrmidons. Vanguard armor assets destroyed. I'm picking up coded signals in the military band. Someone's still out there. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. Target destroyed. It's a really hot map. Also, this is easy to shit. Holy fuck. Maybe we should have just skip this planet. Now I'm starting to think of, now I'm starting to think I should just go to Solaris. Oh well. Spectre, be advised. A squadron of heavy choppers just lifted off from a nearby canyon. ETA, Target one destroyed. minute. Roger, Castle. Spectre Lance, initiate partial air watch. Nav point beta reached. Oh shit. I don't think I have enough heat for this. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Maximum warp. Target destroyed. Destroyed. Oh my god, it's actually hurting me now. Dude, th like, these things normally don't do a thing to me. Oh, shit, I missed. Level. Fine, no worries, it's fine. We, get, we still got this. This, mech's, this Puma's gonna be needing repairs, though, I think, after this. Target destroyed. This is what I get for trying to show off. Is that it? Air threat neutralized. Convoy, set your heading 350. Stray from that course or broadcast on any frequency and you'll be vaporized. Cooperate and you'll be free to go. Commander, I'm not sure if the governor will be pleased with our letting loyalists go like that. We're here for the payday, Castle, not the politics. Get salvage in here and see what we can use. Thermite bomb the rest. Roger, sir. TAC Ops preparing for salvage and recovery. As I predicted, sir, a pretty lucrative haul. We recovered a good spread of weapon systems intended for loyalist repair and refit. 
Be sure to double our unit loadouts in the mech lab and check the free market. If you need to raise money quickly, selling excess chassis and weapons is always a good start. <laughs> the expenses was more than the fucking mission payment. Holy fuck, let's get the fuck off this planet, dude. Uh, Steiner and Davian, like, Steiner didn't like that either. What, what else do we have on this, this, this planet? Yeah, like, dude, Steiner doesn't like it when I'm here, so let's go straight to fucking... I'm, I'm thinking we, we do this now. Uh, let's, let's go do Solaris now. I'm, I'm, I think I'm done with this. Let's go do Jungle Light. So, now you're gonna get an idea of Solaris and probably why I stopped playing the game at this point, because I just kind of got bored with it. So, um, essentially it's, uh, I'm gonna dedicate all my victories to Steiner. So this should give you a good idea of, uh, I mean, it's not terrible. I'm also gonna have, uh, let's see where this guy is. I, I need to get some medium pulse lasers, I think. Oh, do I have a small pulse lasers in here? Yes, I do. Okay. So I'm just taking this off for the Owens. This is, this is gonna be uh, LRM Jr. I can actually name him LRM Jr. I'm gonna just make it now because these missions are gonna be really, really, really easy most of the time. And you're gonna get a good idea of that real soon. Do I need this much? Probably. Maybe not actually. Let's, let's put on these, uh, medium, uh, sorry, small pulse sizes quickly, though. And I have still a bit of space, so let's, uh, either I can reduce our speed, which, honestly, I think is fine. Okay. But we're gonna take the Puma first. So, next mission, I'll use that guy. Holy fuck. Oh yeah, these are, okay, they're not damaged, it's just I can't fucking use them because this is a light mech arena. Uh, so here we go, let's do some Solaris. It's the weekend, Solaris fans, and that means the first light match of the season. This is Duncan Fisher bringing you the play-by-play -play as we prepare for the lightweight series. Boy, do we have a lineup for you today. There are some real up-and-comers in today's match. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some of these guys qualify for medium or, heck, maybe beyond. These guys are hungry for it. All right. Game on. So one of the strategies you can do is just shut down immediately and hope they fucking go after someone else. Uh, but yeah, so this is Osiris, and he just came to the wrong neighborhood. And so did I, because I just shut the wall. So... Ah, oh, fuck. Why do I try and Warning. alpha everything? Heat exceeding recommended level. So generally speaking, because I'm in a Pumba, it's probably the best thing if I fucking... Okay, yeah, he just fucked off now. Or no, no, he's just he's trying to get a good angle on me. Like, there's no music, there's One nothing. One of the things I love about the light mech fights is the ferocity of some of these pilots. A lot of Solaris fans tend to skip the light matches, and I think that's a mistake. A lot of these warriors have heart, which you don't get in some matches. Every time they go out, it is make or break for these guys, and I admire the heck out of that. I'm getting kind of pissed at this. So there's a, I think there's like four mechs in this arena. Sometimes a fight is all about position. Right now, people are lining up shots, but are mostly on the defensive. You never can tell when situations like this are going to break, and then there'll be a lot of action on the kill board. God damn it! This like, uh, here's the thing. It's Ouch, like that one's gotta hurt. Looks like that's one mech for the trash heap. Warning. Heat exceeding oh my level. god, he's starting to make me upset. What the hell, I just destroyed that rock. I mean, the frames are kind of weird too, because it's got a lot of different strange. types of pilots in these light matches. Not if you're gonna try to dodge, it's best to dodge out of the way, not into it. Hi, another death, and that brings us to the final three. One of these guys is walking home the winner, the others are gonna be flying over the arena in an ejector pod. This is a very strange map with low frames. I'll see you saying something and then you got totally interrupted by me killing the other guy. Enemy detected. So that's just a flea and an Osiris, so it's just like, why? Why even live when you're a flea? Alright, let's, let's have a look at who's the strongest person. Uh, oh, strangely enough, it's the flea doing the most amount of damage. But I just took out his torso and he's on the floor now. 
Thank goodness it's like this stuff. So this is why this this should be practically like like I don't even know why Puma is allowed in this. Cause it really shouldn't be. Alright, there goes his other torso. Alright, well let's 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 fucking maybe I can core this guy in one hit. If you get like one good shot, like in his back or something. Oh dude, I've never seen anyone use jump jets in this. Shouldn't even be allowed, no, I'm just joking. It's fine. Oh my god. You see, this is a problem. It's like a long ass fucking reload time if I miss anything at all. I mean, you can use the regular PPCs, and I think they have a slightly better cycle time. But fucking hell. I mean, it's it's hard being this cool and just one hitting the shit out of everybody. Fuck me. Holy shit. Okay, I'm I'm gonna try not using this mech until the final round. That kid is on a roll down there. That last guy just got hammered. Hey, yeah, you think? Okay, I think I can one hit this guy. Except it's not fucking done. Alright, I took out his leg there. So it's like, okay, well, you know, we're done, so let's just go chill out here for a sec. Alright, and... Okay, I'm gonna just wait for him to, like, move into my shot this time. Bam! It's game over! We win! And that is it, Solaris fans. We have a winner. His name is... Spectre! A mercenary turned Solaris pilot who has won the match tonight. I've never heard of the kid before, but that was one excellent performance. So congrats to Spectre for his first Solaris victory. Until next time, Solaris fans, this is Duncan Fisher, signing off. You get to hear a lot about Duncan Fisher uh, in this. So it didn't cost that much, but we got a lot of prize money and a lot of kill bonuses because we killed them. Uh, so let's uh, let's go back. Oh, here we go. Look at Look at all this fucking shit. Look at all this fucking shit. So, and we're not even done the jungle uh, stuff. So let's let's see how long it takes to do the jungle the jungle stuff. Uh, let's let's bring along the fucking LRM Junior. Hello, Zolaris fans. This is Duncan Fisher live from downtown Cafe. We have a lightweight jungle match for you tonight, and it'll really knock your socks off. We have pilots from all over trying to prove their best in this arena. But the local favorite is Liao's own Lee Song. This is her first Solaris match, and she's been groomed by some of the greats. Let's see what she can show us tonight. We have some great Solaris action in store for you tonight. Showtime! I'm waiting for that guy to fuck off and attack somebody else. And now we get now we get the hell out of here. Alright. So now we're playing bitch tactics. Um, Enemy detected. So we're gonna just wait for this guy to shoot someone else. All right, now to try and lock on. I can't lock on. This is Lee Song's first game of Solaris. She's been trained by some of House Liao's best pilots, and she is rumored to have lightning reflexes and be a terror in the lightweight category. I know she's one of the crowd's favorites, but you gotta think that all the attention could get to her. If there are no expectations on you, you can relax and just put in a quality performance. We'll see how she does tonight. This is the sort of fighting you don't get in any other weight class. Mechs zigging this way and that. Munitions fire all over the place. This is classic light mech action. You need to be able to do precision piloting and quick thinking. Some of these guys are really on, and it should be a great match. Yeah, this is fucking trash, this mech. Oh my fucking god. We have some fighting, but no dying. The pilots, that's one down. Whatever, I just took that guy out. Dude, this is... I, I thought to myself that I'd fucking LRM this, but apparently, something I didn't realize, uh, light mechs are really hard to hit with missiles. I can't even get a lock on these fuckers. Okay, lock on you now. Yeah, I'm just gonna fucking do this. Why did I? Why did I fucking not splat cat or something like weird Owen splat cat shit? This is no fucking damage. This is the worst thing I could have possibly done. I'm gonna lose this. Fans right. sometimes find these light matches hard to follow. Who got nailed by who? Heck, most of the time you don't recognize any of these names. But that is part of the charm. When I was a kid, I remember seeing some hotshot nobody dominate a season on the light circuit. Later, he was a Solaris champion. They're just something magical when you watch someone's career from the beginning. That's why I think fans who tune out light matches are really missing out. Why Why do I do this to myself? Why didn't I just bring the fucking Pumba mech? No, I wanted to be fucking special and fucking play in the fucking Owens mech. 
that does absolutely no damage at all. I feel like I should just restart this, but whatever, fuck it. Yeah, we're, we're committed to this now. Just know that I didn't want this. Warning, heat exceed heat level critical. Shut down imminent. Did I just shut down? I just did shut down. Can I start up again? You better not take my kill, you slut. Actually, I don't want to be near this guy. Fuck this. Two kills. Not bad for a rookie. Oh my god, Lee Sung has all the HP. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's just, you know, let someone else deal with her shit. Let's just take out someone that's fucking wounded. I don't want to fucking deal with that. Uh, this guy, this guy should fucking eat my shit. Oh yeah, look at that guy. Oh shit, he loves that. He wants he wants the LRM dick. Come here. He's on a roll. That's three chalk marks for Spectre. That's that pilot's fourth kill. Amazing. Alright, Lee Song is over there. And then there's, there's an Uller. Um Oh man, I'm gonna have to face her at full fucking HP. Whatever, you know what, we can do this. We're men, I think. This is a really terrible idea. Because Lee Song is totally gonna fucking kick my ass. Can we fucking kill this person? Good. Oh, yes, we're both targeting her. It's good. You see these missile locks? and They're non existent. Because she's got fucking, like, things to jam my missiles. I'm gonna just use all my missiles on her. I don't care if she kills the other one. I'm hoping that she'll get distracted. Who has a fucking PPC? She's got two lasers. I can't tell what kind of lasers there. Small lasers and a fucking PPC. It's a custom mech. I mean, technically so is mine, so... What, what can I really say? Alright, uh, well, oh, now I don't have my lock anymore. Now I just spent a fucking hour getting that back. I think she's terrible at aiming. And there goes Lee. I really think that the Compellons are pushing her too hard. Being a rookie is tough enough, but if you have been flagged as the next pilot to beat, that adds a lot of pressure. One of the advantages of being a rookie is that you're a nobody, and that means the hotshot pilots will more than likely just ignore you. But she doesn't have that advantage, and she's out of the running today. Fucking guy. And that's it. Exceeding recommended level. And Spectre has done it. Another victory for the Merc. Light fighting is all about speed and precise use of firepower. And he certainly can pull it off. I wonder how he'll do in the medium circuit. Congrats to a job well done, Spectre. Live from the jungle, it's Duncan Fisher wishing all of you a good day. <laughs> just spinning around in circles. All right, so there you go. We got tons of money now. Uh, yeah, this is actually a good opportunity to fuck it. Look, oh, Jungle Light it's still going on. Like it just it continues forever. Uh, and that's that's been my whole problem with Solaris. Is like there's different types of Solaris. Like you don't have to do them, and like these missions also pop up kind of thing. That's the thing. I don't really know what to do with this, but whatever. It's just I don't know. I mean, it's it's apparently a way to to, to get money, and I think like as you can see, time has been going on. So you can see the alignment here; it's neutral. Uh, alignment: employer Kellhounds, close patrol, and jungle recon. And this one's reinforcement. And I I kind of want to finish just the light circuit there, so. Um, let's go back to the, let's see if there's any, like, interesting light mechs that we want to really try, try out, you know? Cougar. Um, it's just, Puma just wrecks everything. 
Like, why would you want any of this fucking trash? Is the question. Let's just let's just continue it. And this is where, like, this is where I stop because I'm like, do I want to do this? And I don't know. This is Duncan Fisher covering another light match. The season has been really shaping up. Some of the new faces have been showing a lot of potential, and some of the veterans seem to be hitting a new level of play. The results have been a dynamite season so far, so sit back and enjoy some excellent light mech fighting. Now, I'm not exactly sure. I think you have to qualify. Action. Look at this guy. There's the ejection pod. One less combatant on the field. Someone already left. It literally 15 seconds in. Warning. Heat exceed heat level critical. Shutdown imminent. Enemy detected. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. I think someone's got like a really nice custom mech somewhere. Target destroyed. Uh, this, guy, this guy's uh, doing slightly more damage. The lightweight matches are all about a trade-off. Do you want more firepower or more speed? When I was on the field, I can tell you how I always went. Guns, guns, and more guns. I think speed is good out in the real world, but when all I am facing are other light mechs, I want to have the power to rubble my opposition fast. Sure, I'm an easier target, but even a slow light mech can kick it into overdrive in a pinch. Target Another mech destroyed. down. Target destroyed. All right, we're not doing that bad. Enemy detected. Uh, it's a flea. How the fuck do, is there just a flea left? Yeah, elf this guy. One sec. Uh, I'm gonna wait. Wait for my perfect opportunity. And it's coming up right now. Oh, fuck me. Honestly. Alright, uh, time to wait for an hour for this fucking shit to, to fucking restart. Because I think there's like also a snow biome kind of a thing. It's weird. That, like, we're in the jungle One right thing I absolutely love about light matches is that these pilots are hungry for a win and are fighting on their own terms. You very rarely see some corporate mouthpiece here. Some of the heavy and assault matches feel more like a battle of companies rather than mechs. Down here in the trenches, it's all about the individual. A lot of these jocks aren't even in a stable. They just play the game on their own terms. Wow, completely missed that. Looks like some of the mechs are ready to fall. Any moment now, things will pick up and we'll see some serious action. I think he's telling me I'm taking too fucking long. He's got a flamer and two MGs. Pow, and that's it. Tonight's winner is Spectre. The Merc Maverick plowed through the competition. He's a one-man army down there. The jungle is a tough arena for rookie pilots, but not for this guy. Live from downtown cafe, this is Duncan Fisher signing off. So allegedly, this is a game of being a mercenary. What am I doing? I'm fucking playing in an arena. I mean, this is what you did in MechWarrior 2 Mercs, technically, as well. You know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't even complain about that. Alright, well, here's another one. Fuck it. Might as well. This is Duncan Fisher reporting live from Solaris. Today's light mech match promises to be a lot of fun. We have a bunch of fast mechs and pilots eager to strut their stuff. That's a recipe for a good match. We're just about to start, so sit back and enjoy some entertainment Solaris style. I just want to get to the end of this, honestly. The game is on. I like his Uller with uh, LRMs. Okay. Enemy I, I've already learned that's a big mistake. Fuck Warning. me. Heat exceeding recommended level. I'm, I'm leaving this place. I want to. I want to go to where the water is. There's a shitty raven there. Oh, god, man. Sometimes a kill sneaks up on you, like that one. Pinpoint firing can lead to a fast kill. Thank God it's a puma, though. I was in the Valhalla Club the other night, and one pilot said, "Hey, Duncan, when are you gonna retire?" I'll tell you what I told him. When they dragged me out of the booth. I love Solaris. Ever since my first light match in the factory, I've been hooked. So until the network execs come to drag me out of here, I'll keep giving you the play-by-play. -play. And they'd better come armed, because I plan to put up a fight. <laughs> I mean, I, I like the I like the dialogue and the banter for Solaris. Enemy detected. 
I mean, it's just really long and I don't really know what to do. I don't know what it's about. I think it's just a way to m make money if you're having issues with some missions. I think I missed that. I don't know how. I mean, I wasn't even getting the right reticle for this shit. Let me just shoot this guy in the fucking ass. One more mech destroyed. <sighs> he stopped. This is what I mean. I'm like, it's just... I, These guys difficult. play hard. The light circuit is the proving ground of Solaris. Those pilots down there are doing whatever it takes to climb up the ranks. They may be lacking in skill, but man, they have intensity. Even though at the end of the day, they still may be near the bottom of the ranks, in my book, they are excellent warriors. This makes me so sad. It's final three times, Solaris fans. Final three, and these guys are like basically shooting each other. Just, I gotta shoot whoever's standing still, because otherwise it's like, uh... I miss, and then, the, the reason why missing sucks in this, is because I have to wait so fucking long. There we go. Three to two, we're one away from being over here. Looks like it's gonna be one heck of a final match. Warning, heat exceeding recommended level. Look at this guy, he thinks he's fucking baller. And apparently he is, because I can't fucking... Like, one of my PPCs missed, despite the fact I hit them both. I'm the saddest mech warrior alive. Spectre wins! Spectre again! Does this guy ever quit? Apparently not. He's really showing these jocks how the game is played. This is Duncan Fisher, signing off. And that's it for another one. Solaris Placement 1. I think I'm done with that. But yeah, so that's gone now. Uh, and so you'd basically just continue doing them one by one, but I might as well do uh, uh, still like here. Uh, threat level heavy. This is like nothing, so we're, we're currently done with that. So let's go, let's go to... This is apparently a... I guess it's an alignment neutral thing. I don't know if I can piss off uh, anybody with that. But we got a ton of money now. Like this is like not even like a problem anymore. So we do some reinforcement here. So it's neutral. So I guess nobody's gonna be pissed at me. But the last one said neutral too. So who the fuck even knows at this point? Uh, but yeah, I don't think we get any new chassis or anything. Oh, we got the. Well, what do you know? We already have like a bunch of assault mechs now and assault like heavy mechs. So the pacing of this just like completely kicked up now. We even have the. We even have a mad cat now, for fuck's sake. I didn't even use that catapult yet, and we're already up to this, so... Uh, I'm gonna basically fuck around with this, and then we'll be back, so... Uh, that's all the time we got for today, guys. See you later. Bye.